Okay, folks, we're here with another one, and the actual Ableton MIDI mapping. So we have an audio track here. We have Amplitude 5 in there. And what do we want to do now if we want to uh, actually MIDI bump instead of doing parameters is insert MIDI track. Then MIDI from, uh, I'll choose all ins. You can choose a controller if you want. I'll just take all. Then MIDI 2, audio 1. Now it's uh, sending it to the amplitude 5 in there. Uh, all channels activated, yes, so it will take info from all MIDI channels. And then I want to press the monitor in. All right, then let's go to Amplitude and we'll set up a volume pedal. Uh, it's not there, so here we go. Let's put it in there and assign MIDI. Bypass, learn bypass, and let's put it on in there. It works. Then we wanna want our expression pedal to learn volume. Done. And what do we get? All right. So we're set up and uh, you can do the rest like that then let's check this little thing out uh, let's try to uh, record that information all right Oh, MIDI record wasn't on. Let's do it again. There we go. Now let's hear it. So if we have that there, we don't hear the automation, which is there. We can go there and we can click the here and see that there's a blue dot there, MIDI control 22, and we can actually see the recorded uh, information uh, but if we stay on uh, the in monitoring in uh, we can't hear it we need to go auto there we go and if you would like you could just draw in here draw the information like this which is handy because if you if you want to uh, you have a part and you forgot to stomp something in or you know whatever you can just uh, record it later or just map it in this window there we go